Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hypnotist here, Joe Dinsdale from Secret Success Hypnosis Clinic. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest hypnosis experiences that I've had so far since I opened up my clinic. Now, for obvious reasons, I can't give out any personal information for my clients. So a few of the facts have changed, but mostly this is the true story. So I had a client uh, reach out to me saying that they were desperate for my help, but they wouldn't tell me about what. They said, it's just, it's a memory thing. Uh, can you help me? And I said, well, we can, you know, do a consultation. If I can't help, then that's fine. We just won't move forward. So he came in and we did the signing of the sheets and whatever. And he was like, okay, so here's the thing. I have lost my treasure. Uh, your treasure. And he says, yeah, my treasure. So I said, okay, uh, what, what kind of treasure are we talking here? This client had done really well in whatever field he was in. And he decided to buy a bunch of gold bars and diamonds and put it in a bag. Um, I guess bag, you know. <laughs> he had hidden this bag somewhere and had forgotten where he had put it. Now in my mind, I'm thinking, like, why didn't you make a pirate map? Why didn't you make a pirate map to lead you back to the treasure? Come on. Come on. Treasure map, obviously. So he says, I think that if you regress me, I'll be able to remember. Like, take me back to that day where I hid it and maybe you can help me find it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, where do you think you hid it? Well, it's somewhere in my house. And my wife is going crazy because I'm tearing apart the house and I can't find it. And he was said, I checked everywhere. I checked in the walls. I checked under floorboards. I checked in the garden. I dug up the garden. I can't find my freaking treasure. Gah. So I said, all right, we'll see what we can do. Put the, I put my client into trance and we go back to the day. And I said, okay, let's start off at the very beginning of the day. What did you do? And he says, I, you know, I went to work. And I said, okay, walk me through that day at work. So he walks me through the day at work. Once he's done work, he drives to the bank, picks up all his gold and stuff because he doesn't want to keep it there. And he's got his little bag of gold and diamonds or whatever. And then I say, where do you go next? And he stops because he says, I go to my uncle's house. And he was like, because he had not mentioned consciously when we were talking before going to his uncle's house. Ah. So in his mind, we go over to the uncle's house and I say, okay, do you have the bag of treasure with you? And he says, yes. And I say, okay, which room are you standing in with the bag of treasure? And he says, in the basement. And I say, where do you hide the bag of treasure? And he had hidden it like behind I guess he had remembered that there was like a hole down there or something but he hid it behind like the wall at his uncle's house and this guy's eyes sprung open and he says my treasure Bro, did we just find your treasure and he's like yeah yeah we did just find my treasure and I was like go go be with your treasure and he says, thank you very much. He pays me, rushes out. That's the story of how I helped somebody find their buried treasure. <laughs> I still can't believe it happened. The whole session was like maybe not even half an hour. I guess it, it paid off for him, right? Because he found his treasure. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time here. Like, share, subscribe if you want to hear more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Secret success.